Today's video is uh, intended to show you the UltraScan 2 uh, series of my transducer bowls and to talk a little bit about the features uh, that are there. I elected to uh, shoot this video on the boat because uh, <laughs> uh, that's where the trans that's where the transducer bowl was. Um, and I'm too lazy to move it. Um, but uh, at the same time, it gives you pretty good perspective. Um, what I, first, we need to start with the fact that this is battery powered, um, and this little three ampere hour battery on here will last be self contained here, uh, and that the controller is mounted inside this LB. Uh, here's your battery source, your power source, and then here's your foot pedal. Uh, your foot pedal is uh, or it can be used um, You can move it around as you want to you can use it as a handheld uh, either way and as you can see um, If I had three hands I could do this easier um, And you, know, you have the indicator on top now notice that it stopped uh, and so there are also limit switches built in here that uh, prevent it from wrapping up your transducer cable. Now once it stops, uh, you just, re you can, re you drive off of that limit switch uh, in the opposite direction. And it also uh, has a limit switch in that direction. Um, so, and you can also, if, if you're so inclined, uh, you can take this out if you do want to use it uh, just as a small handheld. Uh, you can just take that key fob out uh, and use it that way. Put it back in here uh, if you want to use this as a foot switch. And the way I I use it is I have Velcro right here uh, and then uh, I'm able to use that as a foot switch and there's a little story about uh, about the Velcro there at first I didn't have it I just had uh, the box laying there and I came over awake and the box went sailing out over my head uh, so obviously um, I did two things. First of all, I put the Velcro on here so that it stayed put. The other thing I did was make little wooden um, spacers in there to take up that empty spot uh, so that if it does happen again, and it, it did float that time, but, for, but it, because I got back to it pretty quick, uh, but at least it'll float until you come back and and pick it up and to my knowledge it didn't well it actually it didn't even uh, it still worked I guess is what I'm trying to say um, and there is a separate video uh, uh, about the bracket and about the mounting bracket uh, so I will um, uh, I think I'll just tack that onto the end of this video so and first of all uh, you'll notice here this being of course the mounting bracket that you s and there are two bolts here that you take this out and this entire part slides back and it will come completely off the boat that way um, there are actually uh, two bushings up inside here that are captured bushings that fit into a tight slot uh, here to give good alignment and maintain alignment and at the same time the reason i did this was that it's important uh, that your transducer pole be parallel with your uh, trolling motor uh, shaft uh, so doing it this way it takes it it makes that happen basically um, the other thing to uh, to show you about this is and this this seems kind of um, see, it seems it's not very impressive, uh, but this is the support pole 
that I use uh, when I'm running. And I don't always put it on uh, because this is really pretty stable here. It's, it's much more stable than a lot of the commercial units that are available. Uh, but if I'm in really uh, choppy water, uh, then I will put it on. I also wanted to show you what I use uh, for clips. This is actually Velcro. And it comes right off just like that. Leaves no residue. Uh, it sure beats, uh, sure beats tape. Um, and as you can see the uh, uh, mounting of my transducer here. And uh, the, other, the other part of this design is that I've got, I hope you'll excuse all this moving around, but uh, you see these two, uh, these two mounting bolts. Um, and then there's a third one right under here. Um, but this third one is set so that I can actually push, put washers underneath it. And I put Bellevue washers under here so that I can cause this to tip out uh, uh, while still maintaining uh, the perpendicularity of this. Uh, so I, and because I did that because uh, this uh, Ultrax has a three degree negative angle. So by, de by design, when you put it in the water, it's going to be pointed down three degrees. Um, but uh, by putting, what I did was I, I actually deployed it um, and uh, I put a level on here uh, and then I put shims or washers actually underneath the bottom part until I got it to come up so that I know it's sitting at a 90 degree uh, to the water line. Thanks again for coming back to my YouTube channel.